Happy Friday, y'all. This is your market update for January 12th, and I hope that you are having a great day and looking forward to the weekend. I know I am. We got a long weekend, of course, in observance of Martin Luther King Day on Monday. Uh, so initially this morning, stocks opened the day higher, but unfortunately, they quickly reversed course um, and have continued to trade lower on the day for the most part. Currently, the Dow is down about 150 points, NASDAQ's down about seven points, and the S&P 500 is trading flat currently. Mortgage-backed securities opened the day up seven basis points after having a heck of a day yesterday in the afternoon rallied to close up 32 basis points. So it was nice to see that positive momentum carry over into the market today. Uh, we did rally a bit after the uh, PPI inflation report that came out earlier today that showed inflation numbers on a wholesale level uh, came in cooler than anticipated, which of course is market-friendly news. So uh, mortgage-backed securities did rally for a bit, unfortunately, um, haven't been able to sustain any positive momentum moving forward. Certainly uh, continuing to trade positive is a good thing, um, but pretty much, you know, ebbs and flows continuing to trade sideways for the most part. So started the day up seven basis points. I think at one point in time, we were up over 20 basis points and we are back to, last I looked a moment ago, we're still up, I think seven basis points or five basis points. We are trading above the 25 day moving average. So we did manage to break above that level of resistance yesterday afternoon and have continued to stay there. Um, hopefully that continues to be the case because if we have some additional market friendly news next week, we could see some meaningful moves higher in the mortgage backed security market, which of course will lead to more interest rate improvement. Speaking of interest rates, the Freddie Mac published 30 and 15 year rates came out yesterday and continued to basically show that for the second week in a row, mortgage rates have moved sideways. Uh, currently, the 30-year fix is sitting at 6.66, um, and the 15-year, I think, is currently sitting at 5.87%, so certainly a lot better uh, than where it was several weeks ago, and uh, I think continuing to trend in the right direction, so um, hopefully that will, in fact, continue. Now, I did mention the PPI report that came out earlier this morning that was cooler, um, then anticipated, which of course continues to support that inflation is cooling. And anytime you see inflation cooling on a wholesale level, you can expect that on the consumer level uh, for the following month, hopefully we'll see those numbers uh, drop as well. Um, the CPI report that came out yesterday um, actually showed inflation on a consumer level that was slightly higher than what the market was anticipating. However, I think that that was primarily due to auto insurance rates and also homeowners insurance rates. Um, I think that had something to do with it. Uh, unfortunately, the Federal Reserve uh, increasing the Fed funds rate is not going to do anything about insurance rates. So I think the market shrugged that off in the afternoon. Um, and that's why we saw that rally yesterday afternoon. Uh, we do have information coming out next week we'll, that we will update you on Tuesday, not as substantial as the information that came out this week. So I don't anticipate any major market movement uh, next week, but hopefully continuing to trade in the right direction. I uh, hope that you have a great weekend and I will see you on Tuesday.